Hi, I'm Dean with Old English Outfitters, and today we are going to be discussing the Benchmade Bug Out. Blade length, just to go over the specifications real quick, a little under three and a quarter inches, very serviceable size, very usable. Uh, three and a half to three is a really good everyday carry length. Uh, blade steel is S30V. It's a very common high-end knife steel that's used in a lot of production knives nowadays. Uh, the overall length when open is uh, a little under seven and a half or seven three quarters. Uh, very good in the hand, very good in a closed grip. I wear a large to extra large size glove and I am able to get a full four finger grip on it both in the standard position and also in the reverse so you wouldn't really need to be stabbing with this knife. Uh, the handle material is glass reinforced nylon. You'll see that a lot with knives that are, that they use high end materials but they're trying to keep the cost down because not every handle needs to be titanium or G10 or all this and that. It's a good strong handle material. It is lightweight but it's durable enough that you can still use it on stuff and it holds up just fine. It does come with a deep carry pocket clip and it is able to be oriented either for right-handed or left-handed carry, but it is tip up only. You cannot carry it tip down. This is not a Spyderco. And it does have a very sizable lanyard hole. I did not put a lanyard on this, but uh, this is a lot easier to get paracord through. I did try it than some of the smaller lanyard holes where you really have to push it through with a, a push pin or a safety fin to get it to feed all the way through the lanyard hole. This one was very easy to use. Uh, so I did carry this for several weeks. I carried it with me around here at the shop. I carried it with me uh, work at my other job. And I also carried it with me on vacation down to the beach. And it did very well for me. We're going to talk about the things that it was good at, the things that it wasn't so good at or that I wouldn't necessarily want to use it for. Uh, but overall, I did really enjoy using the knife. It's smooth. That Benchmade access lock works really well. Uh, just the way that it's designed, you pretty much completely disengage the lock when you pull it back. So it allows the blade to float very freely, even on bronze phosphor washers, which are typically washers, which are typically not as good as, as ball bearings, or at least not as smooth. Uh, but this one opens very nice. Again, because you just you completely disengage the lock when you're doing it. Let's talk about what you use it for. So it's marketed as the bug out, right? And what does that make you think of? A bug out bag, meaning, you know, a bag you would take if everything's going wrong and you need to get from point A to point B. In theory, this bag has everything you would need in it. This knife, I'm assuming this would be the only knife you would need. I don't know that that's necessarily the case. It's, it's very thin. It's very light. It weighs less than two ounces, which is a great thing for a lot of people. But as a bug out knife, I'm not so sure. Uh, I would most likely pair it if I was going to use this as, you know, your only folder. Because there's a lot of folders out there, there's a lot of great options. If I was going to use this as my only folding knife, I would absolutely feel the need to pair it with something that has a little bit more lateral strength. Because this is so thin, it has no liner, uh, and the inserts for the actual locking mechanism, they stop just behind the lock. So beyond that, it's just that glass reinforced nylon with your spacer pins there and there. So uh, I can squish this grip. If I try real hard, I can actually flex the whole body of the knife. So not a ton of lateral strength. A, a knife in theory should be the only tool you would need. Uh, a lot of people use stuff for survival and bushcraft and things like that. I don't know that I would use this for anything but maybe making wood shavings and food prep. It's absolutely, you're not going to be able to baton with it. It's not going to be good for much else. If you want to say that you can chop with this, I'm sorry, you're wrong. And I will fight about that opinion. Um, just to talk about some things you could pair it with. These are a few of the fixed blades that I have. Just some small ones. Um, this is a, a Bussy Combat Trail Scalpel. It's also a small knife, but it's very thick, so you could use this to pry with. Once again, not a chopper, but just something that I have a little bit more confidence jamming into something. That would be an excellent one to pair it with. Um, another one, Bark River Knives Occipital, excuse me. Another small knife, but still very stout. I would be comfortable jamming this into something. And these two together, they still do not take up a large portion of weight. This is not an SE4 or 5 or 6. It's not a huge knife. It's, it's not a lot of weight. So you're able to carry this and carry this on the belt and still be able to do pretty much all the tasks you would need to do, at least in the everyday. There, there's a bunch of knives we could talk about that would be great. A little bit larger is, is a custom knife. 
just your average belt knife. It's high carbon steel hand forged by a guy that works here in Ohio, Joel Worley. Shout out, Maplewood Custom Forge. Uh, or a little bit more of a tactically oriented knife. This is an RMJ. This is the uh, UCAP, up close and personal. Uh, this is one that I carry quite a bit. does have a good blade on it. And uh, again, it's just a little thicker. You don't have the weakness of a locking mechanism or a folding knife. So if you do want this to be the only knife that you carry, and you're not going to carry a fixed blade, I would say it's only going to be good in a few circumstances. One of them that I used it for, which was on vacation. This thing disappeared in my pocket in gym shorts, beach shorts, or, or just like normal cargo shorts or kind of dress shorts. It's so thin and it's so light, it doesn't weigh down my pocket like some of the heavier folding knives that I have. Uh, so it was great for that. It was easy to carry around. It, I didn't feel it tugging on me. And it's, it's one of those things that just is nice to have a blade, but I was on vacation. I don't want to be carrying all my crap. I didn't want to have all this stuff. I wasn't trying to be prepared for anything. I was trying to relax. So it was nice to be able to have this and have it basically just not be a big deal, not be there. I still had a good knife. It still worked really well. I used it for quite a few things. I used it for some food prep in the morning. I used it to cut some boxes open because we got packages while we were on vacation. That's a whole nother story. But it worked really well for me. Uh, another circumstance that I would think this would be very good in is if you're going to be dressing up in a suit or in business casual. This fits very well in dress clothes and same situation. Suit pants are a very thin material and you try to put a big pocket knife in there that has a big hardy clip, sometimes you can damage your pants, but also it's just gonna weigh your pocket down, it's gonna wrinkle your pants, it's gonna make it look bad. This does not do that. It's so light, it's so easy to use. I don't know that this is necessarily a bug out knife, at least it's not mine, but it is an excellent knife. I think maybe if you had named it something a little different, uh, the ultimate EDC or something like that, I think it's a great knife for a few things. This is an excellent slicer. It just glides through material because it's so thin and it comes with such a razor sharp edge from the factory. I haven't sharpened this yet. In fact, I don't, I don't even think I've stropped it and it is still just hair popping sharp after using it. I think it's a good knife, I really do. And at a price point of around $150, it's affordable. Benchmade makes a great product. Their locking system is rock solid. This would be an awesome knife if you're just wanting to have a knife to carry in your pocket. Carry to work, carry around, just have generally, and you're not into more of the hard use stuff, whether that be for the woods or for tactically oriented things. This is a great knife to have. It's not all that expensive, but it's not a cheap knife, right? So it's still going to perform. It's still going to do what you need to do. It's still going to last without breaking the bank, without being ridiculously large, without looking intimidating, as some people like to say. It's just a good everyday carry knife. Last thing that I will say about the bug out is all of the things, the issues, and they're not really issues, they're more preferences uh, that I have with this knife can be corrected in the aftermarket. There's companies that make awesome titanium scales and G10 scales and all different things that you can do they're not that expensive, but they add strength to the body of the knife. And titanium is very light. So is G10, a little heavier. I mean, they're both heavier than just glass reinforced nylon because it's basically just really tough plastic. Um, but those add a little bit more lateral strength to the body of the knife. If all you want to do is spend $20 on an aluminum or a titanium backspacer to fit into the gap here, that will add strength to the body of the knife. And it's very easy to do, just a few screws. Now, you do void your warranty from Benchmade a lot of times when you do that stuff. But if you're wanting to customize this knife, there is so many people that make stuff for it. This is like the Jeep of folding knives. Everyone makes something for it. It's not that expensive to do things to it. So if you're wanting to get your knife, make it your own, have something cool in your pocket that you can show people and works really well, the bug out would be great for you. I'm Dean with Old English Outfitters, and we'll see you next week.